guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here um, I have missed you guys it's been a minute what's it been it's been like a week or so that I filmed actually it's been like two weeks since I filmed but it's been like a week and a half since I posted I'm filming two I'm currently filming two videos right now so just bear with me um I just filmed this I look you'll see that in a video and then you're gonna see this video today's video I wanted to compare these two drugstore foundations because one of them is like my absolute favorite foundation, hands down, high end, low end, favorite foundation ever. And I wanted to compare it to another one that um, claims to do the same things. So yeah, so if you want to see me compare drugstore foundations, then just keep watching. Okay, so the two foundations I'm going to compare today are the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation because I have been so dry lately. And so... I love the matte and poreless one, so I decided to get the dewy one, and I love this one just as much. So this is like my hands down like favorite foundation. So the Fit Me has one point fluid ounces, pretty standard. Um, it's more for normal to dry skin. Really bumps up. This is like five dollars and some change. The foundation I'm gonna compare it to is the L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation, and. It also has one point fluid ounces, which is like I said, it's just pretty much standard. Um, I've tried the L'Oreal Pro Matte. I liked, I think it's, it's probably still in there. Yeah, I have the Pro Matte foundation, but I haven't worn this in a long time just because I don't know. I, I liked my Maybelline foundation better, but I haven't tried the Pro Glow yet, so I kind of want to compare it. Um, they're both in this, well, they're both nude beige. This one's 125 nude beige, and this one is 203 nude beige. I'm hoping they're going to be, like, similar colors. I'm going to put Pro Glow on one side, the Maybelline on the other side, and I'm going to compare up close how they look, and, yeah, give you my thoughts. I'm going to put, I'm going to shake this up. I'm going to put the Maybelline on my left side. Come on, I'm almost out of this shade. I have another shade, but it's a little lighter, and I wanted to do it the closest together. Actually, I don't have any primer on my face, so this is just um, without primer. So now I'm going to do the the Lor Why am I looking at it like I don't know? I'm gonna put the L'Oreal Pro Glow on my right side. Oh, that's definitely a little lighter. Well, they match. Eh. Um, this looks like it may have a bit more yellow in it than the Maybelline one, which I'm not mad at. This seems to be a little, a slightly, a little more liquidy than the Maybelline one. I'm going to use a damp beauty sponge, and we shall see. Now this Maybelline shade is a tad bit too dark for me, but like I said, I wanted to get the shades pretty similar. It's a little too dark for me. Okay, so let me zoom you in real quick. Okay, so this is the Maybelline side. As you can see, it's just dewy, which is what I'm going for. Oh no, as I'm blending them out, they're pretty similar. Weirdly enough, I feel like this is kind of clinging to my dry patches just a tad bit. Nothing like major. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you into this side so you can see this side and then you can kind of look and compare the two. When I was saying about dry patches, I was saying like up here. I don't know if it'll focus on my forehead. It just kind of looked like it was clinging just a little bit. They both feel, I think this side's a little lighter. Okay, 
The Maybelline definitely feels a little lighter than the Pro Glow. This one felt a little more sticky. But I think I like the color better on the L'Oreal. The L'Oreal Pro Glow looks like it might have a tad bit more coverage, which could be explained like why it was a little more sticky. Which is weird though, because it's like a it feels thinner, like I don't know. But you notice over here you can see my freckles more than you can see um the freckles over here. This is the Maybelline side. This is the L'Oreal side. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face. Um, off camera um, and then I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys about how it's wearing as I put my makeup on um, but yeah so this is just kind of first impressions like I said I know my Maybelline I love my Maybelline um, but it's the first time using the L'Oreal let me finish my makeup real quick and then we will be right back final thoughts see so how the makeup applies to each side and the verdict no, they both look really nice. I'm actually really impressed with L'Oreal. I was worried that it wouldn't hold up. I think if I had oily skin still, like I usually, like I used to always have oily skin if you've been around for a while. You will know my skin has always been oily. Um, but this is actually really pretty. It's nice and dewy, but I feel like my skin just looks really dry right now. But I don't, I mean, I don't think that's the foundation's fault. I think I just... I need to put a lot more moisturizer on or some shit because, I don't know, I feel like my forehead could just crack at any minute. For all, um, between uh, the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Foundation and L'Oreal Pro Glow, I think they're both really nice. Um, the I will say though, this is probably about $4 cheaper than the L'Oreal. So if you're really trying to save some coin, this Maybelline one, you cannot go wrong. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. If you have dry skin or if you have oily skin, get... Where is it at? If you have oily skin, I have the matte one right here. The matte one is just as lovely. I love that one for when I'm a little more oily. If you're on a budget, definitely go with the Maybelline. If you can afford to spend a couple extra dollars and you want to try the L'Oreal, it's definitely a wear is really pretty. Now, I haven't worn it throughout the day, so I can't speak for longevity of it. Does it claim to have, this says 24 hour foundation. I don't believe that just because to me, if it's a dewy foundation, I don't. I mean, the coverage, don't get me wrong, coverage is really good, but I don't think a dewy foundation is going to hold up for 24 hours. I, don't, I think it's just going to end up coming off. I don't know. That is my final thoughts. Um, which one you should choose? Um, I don't know. I like them both. Um, all I'm going to say is I don't think you can go wrong with the Maybelline one. So I try the Maybelline first before you try the Pro Glow just to see if you like this because then if you like this and you fall in love with it like I did you found a steal for five dollars of a foundation now once I zoom in just let me know down in the comments below what you guys think as far as like what side you think looks better so this is the L'Oreal this is the Maybelline and yeah just let me know down below like what side of the face you think looks better or like what foundation you think looks better and give me your feedback because I'm all about it so let me zoom you in so we can get personal the Maybelline side and then right the L'Oreal side I think the color matched pretty good this side might be just a hair darker alright guys so that is the end of this battle of the drugstore foundations I really hope you enjoyed this type of video if you did please make sure you give it a thumbs up it lets me know how you liked this um, yeah, and if you've tried both these foundations, definitely leave your feedback down below. I love to hear how something worked for you or didn't work for you. Um, yeah, just let me know which one's your favorite. And that is all I'm going to say. Stick around because I will be releasing, <laughs> releasing, I will be coming out with a tutorial on the makeup look that you see right now. Well, it's just going to be the eye look. I didn't film any of the face look because you, you see it in this video. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys, so I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. I love you so, so, so much. Like, uh, I'm so grateful for you guys. I love you guys so much, and have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video.